Hey guys, welcome back to Jenny Nails. Today's tutorial, sort of, is how I paint my nails, how I clean them up, and make them look like a pro. I mean, I try my best. So, after washing my hands, and because my cuticles are soft now, I just take a cuticle pusher and push them back. And this helps make your finish look more beautiful, let's say, and also your cuticles won't be in the way of your nail polish application. So I use Nail Tech Rich Filling Base Coat and I apply one coat. I think the instruction says to apply up to two coats, but I seen that one works for me. There's no wrong or right on applying a base coat when it's clear. Just apply and try to cover the whole nail. Now, after they're dry, and you will know because it turns matte, meaning no shine, I'm going to use Essie's School of Hard Rocks. And as for how much polish you need on the brush, you're just going to swipe clean one side and the tip, the tip of the other. And that's it and starting always from the middle of the nail from the center of the nail choose I'll show you next on the next nail I place the brush in the center of the nail push it a little back and then upwards towards the tip of your nail and then do a curve it's always starting from the center towards the other side of the nail again middle push a little back forward on the side and again to the other side try to get as close as possible to your skin of course not try not to get too much nail polish in your skin or you can clean it up later don't worry about it but that's the best way that I have seen instructions tips on nail polish application and it does really help also having a good nail polish helps a lot now after waiting two minutes for the first coat to dry I'm going ahead and apply the second coat and following the same logic starting from the center of the nail and then on the sides center towards close to the cuticle and then to the side again On this nail, I guess I didn't have enough nail polish because you're going to see in there at the end of the left side, I had to flip over the, the brush and apply more nail polish. If the nail polish is still wet, you can do that, but if it's still dry, then just do a third coat. For this um, color, I only needed two. And that's it for that part. Now. For the cleanup, I have a little dish with acetone and a flat brush. You can also use a angled brush, you know, the one that you use for your eyebrows or eye makeup. Or you can find a really cheap one, a pharmacy is up for a dollar. Or you can use something like this one, but I think it will be more difficult. But my favorite one is this one with a rounded tip. And I'll post the link below where I got it. And also have a paper towel on the side so you can place the brush so it can soak up any excess of the acetone and then proceed to clean up the sides of your nails. Don't go too fast, take your time in here because you don't want to brush um, the acetone on your nail and remove the nail polish. Now, for the cuticle part, just follow the shape of your cuticles and that makes it look even more professional. <laughs> That's the only term I can think of. Now, another shot, a different angle here. Follow your natural curve in there on your cuticles. And it's okay if you didn't cover the whole nail. I mean, having a little bit like there, it's, it's perfectly normal. And after waiting for the 
second coat to dry a little bit after two minutes, I just applied my second, I'm sorry, my nail polish top coat, and that's it. That's the finished look. I really hope that it helps. If you have any comments, questions, inquiries, suggestions, comment below, and I'll be happy to reply. And as always, you can always find me on Instagram. That's where I'm more active. And if you like this, give a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time, bye.